Modding in Bone Lab just got a whole heck of a lot easier and you don't need a PC to do it. Today I'm going to show you how to set it up and we're going to check out some cool new mods. Patch 4 for Bone Lab just launched the other day and it adds in a whole bunch of quality of life fixes and new features like the ability to actually log into mod.io in the game so you can download your mods directly in Bone Lab with out needing a PC or connecting to a PC to do it. There are a whole bunch of other things that came in patch 4 as well. I'll put a link to the update notes down below if you want to check it out. But since today's all about modding, let's show you how to do it. All you have to do is head over to mod.io. Once you do that, if you don't have an account, register for the website. Or if you do, log into your account. And you can do this on a computer or you can do it on your phone. Either way, whatever works. You don't have to connect your quest to the device just get logged in. You're then gonna put on your quest and go into Bone Lab. Once you're in the Bone Lab menu, you're actually gonna head to the Mods tab. You can do this in the hub as well if you go to the Mod Kiosk arcade cabinet thing, but you can also go to Mods, you go to Downloads, and you're gonna see Mod.io. Now, I'm already logged in, so if I click on this, it's just gonna say Download All, and I'll talk about that in just a second. But if you click on it normally and you're not logged in, it's going to give you a URL to go to. I'll put the link in the description and on the screen because I can't remember what it is. It's mod.io slash connect or something like that. And then you're going to enter the code that shows up here in the box. You're going to connect your account with that code. And once that's done, anything you subscribe to on mod.io that's compatible with the current SDK and patch 4 will actually automatically download. We're going to show you how that works. I'm going to hit download all because I have a few that I've subscribed to new. You're going to hit Download all or one, apparently, just the one. Oh, yeah, the cast off. I, I set that, so that's going to download. It downloaded one. It took five seconds, and now if we go to our installed mods, you should see that right there. Cast off 762. Uh, let's jump over to the PC really quick, and I'll show you the website for mod.io and what kind of mods you can download. So now on the actual mod.io website, and this is specific to Quest, obviously, not to PC, you're going to go over to the platforms on the left-hand side, and you click, click on Android. That's going to allow you to see just the Android uh, mods that are available for Android. Mostly what you want to look for is right now people are putting patch 4 in their title for the most part. So I would look for something that says patch 4 because it's been ported over, essentially, to patch 4 or to the new SDK. Uh, you can manually download ones that are not port it over and put them on your quest the same way you always have been able to do but you can't do that with this new way of doing things so let's go ahead and uh say we're gonna go to test place zero one we'll just go ahead and subscribe to that so what you're gonna do to, to subscribe you're just gonna hit the subscribe button up at the top once you're subscribed it'll say subscribed let's do a couple of more really quickly so that when we go in we'll download them you can actually set the sdk right here uh, for 0.6 down in the settings and that should make it so that all the things you subscribe to should work All right, so I've got some mods subscribed to now Let's jump in the headset hit download and we'll check out some of these mods and we'll, we'll give you an idea of how to jump into them How easy it is and just play around with some of the new mods and you can kind of see what patch 4 has done Let's go ahead. Okay, we're back in bone lab and like I mentioned you can do this in the main menu or you can do this right here You can go to downloads Understand, accept chaos, blah blah blah. You and you can go to downloads here. And once you're logged in, you're gonna hit this and you're just gonna hit download all. And it should see, yeah, I've got seven new mods to download. It's gonna download all of this. I'll skip ahead and then we'll check out the mods and to see how everything functions. But that's how easy it is to download mods from mod.io now. So much faster and easier. Alright, so it's all done. You can see see it says done downloading. Two failed for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. The T60 power armor failed, and the Kong avatar failed. <laughs> the two avatars that I got failed. Uh, my Aiden Pierce one did did work, and the truck one worked. That's okay. Those ones didn't work for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. Let's head over here and switch our avatar right now. Uh, let me see. We're gonna go to groups. Untagged. We'll do Aiden Pierce. Confirm. Makes us a little taller. There we go. Look, we're from Watchdog now. Is this from Watchdog 2? I think I can't remember. But uh, there we go. Now we're Aiden Pierce. Now you can actually go here. You can do it down there too. Or you can go here. Let's just go to modded levels. Um, let's do the test place since we just downloaded that one. We'll see what, what's going on. It's supposed to be a test place for all the new stuff for uh, Patch 4. Let's check it out. All right, here we go. So now keep in mind, this is downloaded. 
without having to use a PC. This one was. All right, let's spawn some of the weapons that we that we modded in. Pallets, here we go. Hunter's weapon pack. We can do the 1870. Let's do that. Cool. Let's do the cast off 762. That sounds fun. Ooh, let's get a cookie. We'll put the cookie on the table. Well, that's a big cookie. <laughs> How about a truck? That's a cookie. That's not what we wanted. I forgot. To, I didn't pick the. Which one? Ever useful Trindle Trouble or the Jubble Jibble? Let's do a Jubble Jibble. And a Trindle Trouble. Trouble. Oh, big trucks. Cool. All right. Uh, how about a 1970 Al Camino? That sounds like fun, doesn't it? There we go. <laughs> Kermit. What else we got we want to throw in here? Desert Eagle Pack. So I think that's all the ones that we've got. All right, get rid of that. Let's check out this Desert Eagle first. Ooh, nice. Ooh, I like this Desert Eagle. Okay, let's get some ammunition in this sucker. Here we go. Aim and boom. Oh, knocked him. We'll clean out. <laughs> that leaves a heck of a hole, doesn't it? Jeez. All right. I love the gun interactions in this game. It's one of my favorite in a game. They just feel so... Ooh, that's cool. Look, look at that. It moves. That's awesome. All right. Let's check out what else we got here. Let's see. This This is I'm very curious about. Oh, you can. All right. Open up that. Put it in the top. That's realistic, actually. Having to open up the lever to be able to reload the gun. That's cool. All right. That's enough. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty impressive. That actually feels really good. Look at that. Watch. You can see the shell be put into it. You actually have to pull it down. I wonder if you can... I wish you could do, like, Terminator. Like, flip it. You know what I mean? That'd be awesome. Okay, let's see. This is uh, something else. What is this? All right, let's reload this. There we go. Nice. Okay. There we go. That looks pretty good. Oh, it's got a laser dot. Okay. That's cool. All right. That feels good. I like this one. How about a cookie? Can I eat it? Oh, it's, it is edible. <laughs> nice. All right. Let's eat this big cookie. You ready? <laughs> there we, we there's crumbs. We ate the cookie and there's crumbs. That's that's uh, something else. All right, let's get up in here. Sit down. There we go. Yeah, look at that. We can drive this thing. <laughs> oh. All right, let's get out of that. Let's see if we can drive this big truck. I want to drive this big truck, and then I'm gonna drive the El Camino. There we go. All right, this is cool. Ready? Here we go. Oh. Hold on. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Here we go. <laughs> what did I do? Destroy the truck? <laughs> I feel like we should be able to uh, trunk slide. There we go. All right. There we go. <laughs> All right. Let's get down in here. Well, I can kind of get in. <laughs> I'm not being very successful at being able to actually get in the vehicle. It is really cool to be able to inhabit avatars that are something totally different from a different game. I also like being able to go to levels from different games, so let's do uh, Clem's House. It's super simple, but it's really cool just being able to go to this. Whoa! See, look at the art style. It's so cool. I love being able to just step into a place like this. This is uh, The Walking Dead from Telltale Games. Oops, I'm running into something. A plant. It's not perfect. It's literally just for walking around pretty much because there's like nothing else here. But it's still cool to be able to see. There's no enemies or anything. I don't even think there's a spawn gun here. Can I get a spawn gun? Let's see. Utilities. Uh, nope. I don't even think I can get a spawn gun here unless they left it somewhere. Can you go upstairs? Let's see. What's up here? Oh, you can go upstairs. Okay. Oh, you can't go upstairs. It's blocked off. That's too bad. One of the coolest parts about this new SDK is the ability to actually create your own levels. Oops, hold on. Let's uh, let's go back to the hub and I'll show you what I mean. Like a better create actual campaign levels. So one of the levels I downloaded earlier was called Prison Break. And this is just an example 
of some of the new tools and what you can do for campaign levels. We're gonna get a lot of really big campaign levels. I have a feeling now that they have these new tools. Let's check it out. This is just a very basic, simple level. Uh, there's really not much going on here, uh, except for an example of how you can structure kind of a level campaign structure. So it's built very basically. It's just called Prison Break because, well, I'll show you why in just a second. There's these, uh, lots of prisoners. <laughs> what if I can get through here without them trying to attack me? All right, let's grab a knife, because I know there's some enemies up here. And uh, this is just, like I said, structured to try to illustrate the actual structure of a level, like a campaign level. Oh. All right, let's grab a gun here really quickly. We'll grab some ammunition. Don't expect this to be like anything super spectacular as far as the level goes, because it's not. It's just an example. Let's go up here. I I've never been past this part. I just looked at that part. Let's see what's up here. Oh! Oh, jeez! That's not good. God, get off of me! There we go. Jeez. Oh! Just killed that guy! <laughs> oh, I didn't. He's gonna kill me? I didn't do that to you! Oh, are you kidding? I've got no ammunition. Run! <laughs> I died. Yeah, I, I was completely out of ammo. That was terrible. But anyways, <laughs> that gives you an idea of some of the mods that you can play in this game uh, or in Bone Lab that you can get. Avatars, levels, uh, spawnables, guns, all that kind of stuff. It's just really cool. There's a lot of potential. I think with the new SDK, you're going to get a lot more interesting stuff, a lot more level style, style stuff, hopefully. Here you go. That's how to install mods easily on Bone Lab for the Quest 3. Super simple now, extremely easy, and very easy to do without a PC, or at least not connecting to a PC. And you can also use a phone instead of a PC if you want, which is awesome. So let me know in the comments what you think. If you've got suggestions for mods for people to try out for this new patch 4 and the new SDK, let us know down below as well. I'm always looking for something interesting to try out. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and as always, happy questing.